Hello everybody, it is me, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, God of All the Monsters, or just Super Godzilla Final Wars for short, or Super Final Wars, or whatever you want to call me. Today I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on the new Godzilla Minus One official trailer, which just came out just like a day ago. It basically came out like a day ago. And, obviously, I did my reaction to it. You can, if you want to see my reaction to it, go check it out if you want. <clears throat> but before I get started, I just wanted to clarify something real quick. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying, like, Oh, what recording is this? Or, oh, this guy is in 2007. It's not my freaking fault that this freaking tablet that I'm using sounds like this. It is not my fault, Okay. My other tablet, something wrong, something went wrong with it, and for some super reason, I couldn't access my YouTube, so therefore, the YouTube that I was using for my other tablet, so I'm forced to use this new one, which basically makes me sound like a robot, basically. And I'm sorry, you guys are just going to have to get used to it. And if you don't like it, then just leave. Just leave. Don't come back, just leave. Okay, that's all you got to do. Just leave and don't come back. Anyways, now let's get on to the real deal. Now, it has been about like a month since we got the teaser trailer for Godzilla Minus One. The official teaser trailer. But before that, before the official trailer came out, we also got another teaser trailer. And it was kind of short, but it was more like a sort of a little Godzilla 2014 reference. But besides of that, it was pretty good. I didn't do my reaction to it because it wasn't something like that big or that important for me to do my reaction to, so I just kind of ignored it. But I figure I might as well cover it here in this video, since I'm going over my, my thoughts and opinions on the official trailer for Godzilla Minus One. And all I gotta say is, my god, was that intense. Um, for starters, the human characters, so far we got a few glimpses at what I'm assuming are a few of our main characters. And they're actually taking their role very seriously, and that's something that I really like. And something that I had a problem with um, with Shin Godzilla and a little bit with 2014 is that both those characters in those is that all the characters in those movies weren't taking their role that serious. Like they weren't acting like, oh, it's a monster. Or, oh, it's Godzilla fighting a monster, or destroying the city, or whatever. Like, they just kind of are just standing there like a blank piece of paper. But in this movie, the people are actually taking it really seriously. That's something I like. I like how people actually kind of treat this more like a real thing. Like, this is really happening. Like, there's a giant monster and it's destroying the city. And for the new shots of freaking Godzilla, it's just, my God, it, it was just so amazing. It was so freaking cool and I loved it. I loved it so much. My favorite part of the trailer was the shot with the girl who was in the train and she looks out the window and she sees Godzilla approaching and she just says, is that Godzilla? That was like my favorite part. And with Godzilla like slowly approaching, it felt so menacing. And the fact that this Godzilla is flat out violent and just 
evil and just demonic. Well, not really demonic. He's just evil. Like, we didn't get a whole lot from that first teaser trailer. I mean, it's a teaser trailer. They're not going to tease that much. It's going to tease a little bit, and that's it. But now they're showing everything. Because, <clears throat> like, they're just showing extended scenes from footage that was shown in the previous trailers. Or trailer. And, like, the scene where Gospel's, like, swiping his tail, destroying a few buildings, and killing some people, or fighting the train or stepping on the ground and that was just amazing. Already I could tell this film, this film, no doubt, is gonna be better than Shin Godzilla. The thing that actually horrified me the most about this trailer was that scene when Godzilla was walking and all the people are running. The thing, and Godzilla just put his foot down on half of those, half of those people. This Godzilla may not be very big. I'm assuming he's like rather 40 meters or 50 meters, whatever size he is. He's causing mass, mass death and destruction. And there was only one Godzilla, one other Godzilla that did something like this. And that was GMK. I can already tell that this is going to be an insane, horror, dark Godzilla film. And that's something that I imagine a Godzilla film being. Like, it's not just about got monsters destroying cities or fighting each other. No, no. It's, like, it's an actual situation that people seem to be forgetting now these days. Because now all they just care about is the monster scenes and fights and shrink cities. They don't really pay attention about the story and what the true devastation that these monsters can do. Like, these monsters can do some real damage. My other favorite scene within the trailer was when what I'm assuming and what everyone else is assuming is when the nuclear bomb goes off, Godzilla just stands there. And the people are just standing there. I liked how Godzilla stand there. He was not like not giving a crap. I don't I don't know if that was actual if that was an actual bomb that went off or was that just Godzilla firing his atomic breath. I don't know. I don't really know. But it was just flat out chaos. This film, no doubt in my mind, is giving us like a true horror story of a Godzilla movie. Something that I kind of wish that would happen. For freaking Shin Godzilla. It's like you expect Shin Godzilla to do the same thing, but he didn't. I mean, he really didn't. The next scene that I actually enjoyed watching was the scene when Godzilla was under the bow and he was like swimming around under it. I think it was also slowly rising too, like he was kind of rising. Like he was wanting to cut that boat in half. That gave me some like Godzilla 2014 flashbacks where Godzilla went under the boat. Like he didn't want to destroy them. Godzilla was, Godzilla was just like slowly rising up, like he was wanting to cut that boat in half. And all the other scenes that are in the movie, they're just about the human characters, and there's like a few shots of Godzilla like putting, like grabbing a boat or firing his atomic breath under the water, I think. But, honestly, the most best part about this trailer was the end. The end when when one of the characters said that that monster will not forgive us, or will never forgive us. And 
and when Godzilla, like, put his foot down and started roaring out, that was, like, the best. But I'm also a little confused at the same time, because if you look closely at Godzilla, he almost looks like he got attacked, or there's, like, parts of his skin are burnt. Like, people thought he was going to, like, turn into Burning Godzilla, and I was just like, I don't know, because if this is going to be a remake of the 1954 movie, then I think that would be a little too early to introduce Burning Godzilla. Other people think that Godzilla rather got done battling another monster, or the humans try a new weapon on Godzilla, and it obviously failed. And the burnt skin is the result of that. Whatever the case, I am wondering, like, what the hell happened? Like, when I saw that scene at the end, I was like, oh my god, what happened to you, Godzilla? What what happened to you? Are you like... Did you get Scott Sun battling another monster, or did you get hit with a weapon, or what happened? But yeah, besides of that, I really love this trailer, and I cannot wait for it to come out. Um, I hope we get a trailer too. I hope we get a trailer too. Most people say we might not get a trailer 2. Other people say that we might get a trailer 2. It all depends. Because this film comes out in like like two months. And speaking about giant monsters, Gamma Rebirth is like right around the corner too. So... But yeah, um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we're going to get a trailer too, or do you think we might just get TV spots showing us extended footage or some new footage? I don't really know. But yeah, I really like this trailer. Honestly, this trailer is really good. I also like it better than the, than the other trailers that we got. And it's a pretty good trailer, too, considering that we got basically the bad news that Godzilla X Kong and the New Empire got delayed. But who needs that trailer when you've got this baby right here? Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this trailer, and do you think we might get a trailer, too? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.